Welcome back to Chicago Independent Television. Chicago has been at the epicenter of an ongoing campaign by fast food workers to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour. Here's coverage from a recent protest. I call on the mayor and the city council to take the votes to pass CHA reform now and to take the votes to raise the minimum wage to $15. And we'd like for you, in the interest of time, just to answer yes or no. Uh, will you push to get the Keeping the Promise Ordinance uh, into a hearing and a vote by November in the Committee on Housing and Real Estate? Please respond yes or no. Yes. 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 When the ordinance comes up for a vote, do you commit to turn your sponsorship into a yes vote and recruit other colleagues to join you in supporting the, this ordinance? Please respond yes or no. Yes. Yes. Yes, but we need your help. Yes. 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 Si se puede. We need, as Alderman Spazada said, we need to, each and every one of you to get out and vote. If you don't vote, the people in leadership will not move. The only way to get the Keeping the Promise ordinance through to have accountability of the CHA and all of the city departments that spend tens of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars for you to get out and vote and convince your friends, your neighbors, your family to vote because every single one of them counts. Thank you, Alderman Wagaspak, Alderman Sawyer. Thank you, and I join here with my colleagues today. We want to make sure that CHA keeps their promise release those vouchers in the hands that need them most. Let's get this circulated so we can get decent housing for everyone in the city of Chicago and the surrounding areas. We support this wholeheartedly. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Sawyer. And now, Alderman Moreno, who is the lead sponsor on this. Thank you, thank you. Thank you all for coming out. I know you could be doing a lot of other things, but I don't know of a more important issue than housing for every human being, every Chicagoan. And the CHA has failed miserably in keeping the promise, not only the vouchers, but the millions and tens of millions of dollars that they're hoarding. You know, we struggle every year, the aldermen do, because we've got such a tight city budget. The CHA does not have a tight city, a budget. They have millions and millions of dollars. And we know that we have residents that need homes, so we've got, you know, our colleagues, eight or nine of us that are up here. But, but what I've learned in Chicago is if, if an alderman signs an ordinance, we need you to be behind them to come up here with us and vote for it. Thank you. Necessary to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour for workers here in Chicago, in Illinois, and across the country and ask that housing for working people be available and affordable. Our work together is about taking a stand that is moral, that honors the dignity of every human being, and ensures that people who are working are working for a living, a real living, one that carries with it dignity. Those are some of the highest values of people of faith, of all faiths, that we share that human dignity is the basis of our work together, that there is no question that that requires some hard choices and some sacrifice, but working people know, people working for poverty level wages already know about hard choices and sacrifice. People without affordable housing already know about hard choices and sacrifice. That's it's time right. for all of us to stand up together and ask, ask how we can be part of the solution. And right now, what we can do is ask our elected officials, demand that our elected officials stand by their values and take the votes needed to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour and to release CHA dollars to make housing affordable now. Yeah.
by allowing the big corporations that can afford it now to pay the minimum wage now, the smaller businesses would benefit from the economic boom of having that extra money circulating through the economy. And will you commit to pushing Alderman Pat O'Connor to call a hearing on the $15 an hour minimum wage ordinance? Yes. 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 Yes, but once again, we need your help. Yes. Muy buenas tardes. Es un orgullo estar aquí con ustedes peleando por la lucha por 15 dólares de, de, de la hora para aumentar el salario mínimo. Every time we talk about raising the minimum wage, corporate America says we're going to lose jobs, and we do not lose jobs. We make neighborhoods better. What do we want? I'm proud to stand in support of $15 minimum wage in our city and a coordinated effort to drop homelessness by keeping the promise of affordable housing. Some in power in this city cannot imagine what many Chicagoans live like every day. While wages have decreased here, housing costs have increased. Housing should not be a privilege in this city. Earning decent pay for hard work should not be a privilege in our city. In our city, the high quality of life should be a right. I am committed and I'm looking forward to $15 an hour. I'm up here on the stage, I gotta talk fast, and I'm looking at all these $100 bills, so I'm gonna keep it 100 for you, okay? I have nicknamed myself the Iron Lady after Margaret Thatcher. Guess why? Because something is wrong with this picture up here. Women, something is wrong with this picture. My uh, sister, Leslie Harrison from the Fifth Ward, couldn't be here today. She is in full support, well as, as well as myself. But something is wrong with this picture. It's a damn shame that I'm the only woman up here. That's all I got to say. Hey, I'm here in full support. But I know I said it two times already. We cannot do this without your help. You guys need to pound your aldermen. Tell them you want to. You tell them you want them to support us on this. So thank you very much. Get on the phone starting this week and start pounding away. Thank you. What we need is to get more money in the hands of folks that will spend that in our communities. How does $15 create more jobs? That money in your hands will go towards groceries will go towards the things that we need to set our tables. That demand is going to create jobs and create a middle out, a middle out recovery. Trickle down doesn't work, we need middle out recovery. $15 an hour will get us there. Let's hear, let's go. You know, they say that $15 is too much. There's a $13 alternative. If the minimum wage would have just kept pace with inflation when it was created, it would be over $21 an hour today. $15 is very fair. So as the alderman said, help us push. I want to thank SEIU, Action Now, the Grassroots Collaborative, and all of our other partners, and all of the aldermen and our uh, co-sponsors, Alderman Arena and Alderman Sawyer. Thank you all. Keep pushing.